Oh, they're all together. They're on the payroll. <laughs> There's another one. See that? Just on the water's edge over there? Oh. Very good old cane hose. That's where Sam R. Bay, the China, used to live at the turn of the 18th century, 1890s, 1900s. And um, he lived up here, and he had a uh, Chinaman being a pretty handy in the vegetable patch. He had a banana plantation, he had a herd of goats, uh, he had his cows, he had his horses, and he had a vegetable patch, and he also had um, yeah, orchard over there. See, there were so many people out here at that time with your, with your cattle rush back in the 1860s, your 1870s. Um, with your mining, your silver mines over in the hills over here. And they say that at one particular time, there was more people out here in the Gulf area than there was on the north coast of Queensland. Courtney Range. Despite what people think about termites, there's only a handful of them that are the bad ones, so to speak. I'm going to go up and explore the fossils at Riversley now. That formation up the top there is the remains of a lake. That's your uh, dissolving of your limestone. That's your acids in the rainwater that's dissolving your limestone. You've got your round section there with his head that oh, yeah. uh, that okay. way. You also got your hey, your lime your lime at uh, your ironstone. Also got those uh, flutes where your, where your limestone's dissolving. Look, they have found some excellent finds here. They've even found, um, you know, the uh, skeleton of the, of the fire line, which is the yeah, ancestor of the Tasmanian tiger in the jaws of a crocodile. Over 25 million years ago, when the turtle died, it sank to the bottom of the river where other animals fed on its head and legs. Eventually the shell was covered in limey mud and was fossilised. So it's that limey mud that's doing all the work. One of these is the gulf snapping turtle, or the laverick turtle which was recently uh, discovered alive, only in 1995, so it's not all that long ago. This turtle was originally described from a 25,000 year old fossil shell found near the Gregory River. Gulf snapping turtles are one of the largest freshwater turtles uh, in Australia and are found in a few of the uh, rivers of the Gulf of Carpentaria. This circular fossil is a cross section of a limb bone of a semi-terrestrial freshwater crocodile. These crocodiles lived and preyed along the rivers and lakes of ancient Riversley. They used their huge blade-like teeth to kill their prey. The most spectacular crocodile fossil found at this site is the skull of Baru. And that's one of the reconstructed models that's on the wall there. That was the size of a big cleaver head. Camel bush. They use the leaves for smoking. Feel like a cigarette? <laughs> Apple bush. And that could be applied and treated for an wow. itch or an allergy. So that's your fruit salad plant or apple bush. Mm. Slimy mud at the bottom of an ancient shallow lake. The conglomerate was probably, here again the word probably, uh, river gravel deposited not long before the limey lakes developed and would only be slightly older than the overlaying limestone. Side view jaw of a crocodile. Sure. Snout, remember that it's gone to the bottom, it has been messed with, flooded. Mm. Yeah. We've got a few frowns on the faces. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we've just had the younger limestone up there, the 24 million year old tertiary limestone. We're on, we're on to the old stuff. And um, see how it's done in layers? Say if you were to get a slab of concrete, put a slab down, throw a bit of lamy between it, uh, put another slab down in a month's time, etc, 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 and get your layers. The pancake stack form of Cambrian marine limestone is very distinctive in the surrounding landscape. This is a very old marine limestone formed in a shallow inland sea around 530 million years ago. Remember when we were talking about the Constance Range and we, it was formed 1,560 million years ago and then 530 there was another shallow inland sea and you had that lap marks impregnated in the sandstone. 
is a shirt, common shirt, C-H-E-R-T. You don't get it mixed up with uh, flint that you find in your, in your chalk country. Um, but it's fallout. You, know, you find dust particles, your silicas, your sodiums, your, uh, other ingredients that's in the air, atmosphere. So if you've got a bathtub and you fill it up with good old well water, a bit of hard well water and you, you know, had a wash in it and you let the plug out so far and then put the plug back in and you get a line around that bathtub. And, and again, as, as it recedes, pulling the plug out, getting another line, getting another line, another line. That's how they say this was formed. And it's formed by these indents initially in the limestone. And then it has formed as a growing rock. That is your shirt. Mm. Ah. The layering of your rock in between. Mm. It's not light. It's purely that layer. It's just because of the layer. See that? Oh, yeah. Characteristics of the eucalypt, the, the higher leaves, uh, the older leaves have uh, been more of a uh, long narrow leaf, the juvenile leaves have been more of an overshot. You know, I know what to do with that. Yeah. We've also got. Oh, okay, two portions have been broken apart. Have a look at all the little lines about it. There we go. Pass it around. Have, have a good look at it. What you have in your hand is 1.6 billion years old. Okay. Billion, not million. The oldest ever uh, recorded is 3.5 billion. But there's a portion of his leg, bottom leg bone, with the toes pointing mm. inwards in oh, the, yeah. Yeah. into the uh, into the limestone. But better still, uh, yeah, on your left hand side, we got any builders here? Oh. Any handy me? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah right, eh? Looks like a ten to one mix, doesn't it? That's his gizzard oh, oh, yeah. that has remained intact, yeah. you know, your, yeah. your tough sinewy oh. skin. Yeah. And, um, the cotton bush rose. It might stay still for me. Oh. Yeah, hold it still. Oh, thank you. That'd be good. Oh, that's bright. Now I can see. Here's the Gregory River. When we get around the corner, you'll have an inner branch of this, which is Carl Creek. Close down behind the Riversley Homestead Station. A beautiful big swimming hole there, and they've got a big sand sand uh, as a backdrop. And I think that that water runs continuous all the time. Yeah. <laughs>